Okay. Story. So I want to start with level one. How do I do that exactly? Restart cycle. Continue. Is that the whole thing? Nice, Uthor. Yeah, this is... Th I'm doing a fresh start. Oh, Huthor, you should definitely check out um, check out the blueprint system in Unreal. They have a lot of really great uh, tutorials. Oh, nice. I start with the gun now. That's nice. You don't actually get the gun until later. Oh, are you guys seeing that? That's weird. I haven't seen that that box around the ripples before. So yeah, this is uh, this is the start of the game. You can see on the gun there's actually a little timer counting counting the number of seconds you've taken for this for this segment. We've got these little tutorial floating blocks. It's a it's a puzzle platformer. And now I'm motion sick. Woo. I think their sound design is quite good, as it should be for having two sound designers work on the project. Woo. Nope, not quite. Uh, the gun actually lets you turn on and off elements in in the tower. So can I turn that off? It doesn't look like it. Let's see if I can. No, that's not interactable yet. I'll go this way. There's lots of choice for how you move through the levels. It's really cool, actually. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! If you hit the R key, you respawn back at your most recent checkpoint. So, book. All right, let's see if we can nail this. Really, they they do a good job of helping you feel like you're really in control. Oh man, what? I wonder where I would go if I hit any of those. Is there something off that away? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna come this way. This is where you usually get the gun. So, switch gun, activate, deactivate, fire. Okay, cool. There you go. Uh, the controls are just WASD for movement, spacebar to jump, you can double jump. Left click shoots, right click aims. So controls are really super simple. It's really easy to understand. If you've played first person shooters, then you know how to play this game. Uh, almost didn't make it. There's no sprinting, you move at a set speed, which is really good because um, it helps you understand how your movement works. Whoop. It keeps it all very comprehensible. Activate jumper again. Hey! Cool. Oh no! <laughs> That's probably going to turn back on by the time I get there. Oh, not quite.
All right, let's go left. You all are gonna see me like jerking around and stuff. Is there an image, Llama Fist? Oh, you've solved it, okay, good. Oh no! Oh my god! I played through this bit a little bit early today. I played it for about half an hour so far. Just long enough to figure out that it's really cool. And then I was like, okay, I'll play this on stream. Oh! No! And you only have 30 shots per segment, so you have to hit a checkpoint before you get more bullets. Ah, okay. So you have to be at least a little bit accurate. Um, so far I've never even come close to running out. Oh, now where? Ah, it's right there. Oh no! <laughs> um, what does the name of the game refer to? I don't actually know. It used to be named Deadlock. And then they got some kind of disagreement with that name from somewhere. Either it was like a cease and desist letter or Namco Bandai was interested in seeing a slight adjustment. Something I'm not entirely certain. Uh, and they changed it to Deadcore. Oh god. Oh man. <laughs> I did not have this much trouble with this section the first time I ran through it. It's the pressure of being on stream. Oh god! Mm -hmm. Hear those turrets beeping around behind me. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh no. One step above hardcore is deadcore. I like that. I like that llama fist. Oops. Nope. There we go. Much better. So as you can see, currently... Oh no, my timing for this run is not super great. Sitting at seven minutes already. Um, I haven't looked at like leaderboards yet or anything, but... Uh, I think that the devs are on there at the top spots at the moment. The, my team member who made this is named Adrian Pelov. And he is a cool dude. Woohoohoo. Sweet. Down we go. Let's see, I wonder if I can do anything about the graphics levels, settings, video, quality. Let's drop down to high quality. Yeah. Because the it's, it's just a little bit jittery, and it's only because I'm streaming. When I was, when I was playing it early, it was super smooth. But since it's uh, such an intense game... Oh no! That's that's not what I want at all. And now I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Oh no. Oh, oh! Yeah, there we go. Nice.
jumping puzzles are really fun to create because you can just run over the puzzle over and over again. Oh my goodness. What? Nope. <laughs> Let's go. No. Oh no. I'm totally failing at this. Okay, so I gotta get. Gotta let these get back in sync. There we go. Whoa! -ho -ho. When I first saw this, I was. My mind was blown. This is mind blowing. Right, y'all. Mind. Totally blown. Felix. Oh no! <laughs> Need collect spark. Oh right, there there was a little pickup here. So you've got logs where you get like lore pieces. And you can also unlock new songs. I'm not sure how to access the new songs. Hey! There he is, Adrian. Um, and you have to actually explore the levels in, to, in order to find all of them. So, let's see. Yep, here we go. Those things just make like wind that pushes or pulls you in a certain certain direction. Whoa. No, oh my god. Can't stop and admire the roses. Woohoo. Oh no, okay, of course. Now that actually, I thought this was really neat because the first time you approach, these little things actually fling up and it drew my eyes upwards, so it let me know I had to open that. Hey, cool. I didn't find the other spark or any of the three other logs or any of the three other tracks. I currently only have switch gun. I don't have dash, G mod, or blast. Interesting. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, Sith Master, there is a double jump mechanic. And hey, Cave Dweller X. Lasers, anomaly, unstable, disintegrate, avoid error. Now that's where I unlocked. Okay, come on. Oh. -ho. So I went through there last time. This time I'm going to go through the upper side. Yeah. I wonder if there's any difference. Doesn't look like it. Oh no! Boy. No! When you hear me go, whew! Like that. Like that. That's when I hit my double jump. Oh no, come on. I'm failing. I'm failing pretty hard right now. I had a pretty simple jump. So, like. Where else is there? That's where I came from. Okay, cool. Oh no. Oh my god, are you serious? Ugh. Ugh. Oh no. There we go. Much better. This was tough. This little segment is pretty tough. 
because you got these lasers sweeping around, you've got to not touch the one in front, and you've got to not get touched by the one behind. Oh no! <laughs> Good. Took me a little bit to figure out where I was supposed to go here. You need to ride these things all around. Get over there. I have a beard? <laughs> Kill all! I've had a beard forever. <laughs> but, uh, thanks man. Glad you think I'm looking good. It's because it's late in the evening. Usually I only stream in the mornings when I'm dead tired. Oh no. Oh, come on. Ooh, interesting. I wonder if I can get over there. Z Mm-hmm. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, oh, but there's a spark over there. Yes! Now, where the hell do I go? Oh my god. Right. Oh no. Rat. Ah, uh, this one's a little tough. I didn't have this much trouble with it last time. I guess I gotta hit this in the middle. And currently I'm hitting it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Have I ever played a game called Perspective? No, I haven't. Um, Steak Baby, when you start a game in, uh, in Dead Core, you can choose to specifically start a speedrunner game and do time trials. So that's they are definitely going for that audience. Danger Trooper, whoa! Cool, good. Sounds like I've got this guy coming after me. Where is he? Beer. Don't touch the lasers. Of course there's leaderboards. I wonder if I can see them from here. No, achievements. Nice, opens it in Steam. Well done. Hey! Oh yeah, I remember this. I had a tough time with this. This one was pretty pretty challenging. Ah, dang. So close. Oh, no, come on. Whew, made it. That was tough the first time I did this. Explore, paths, choose. They're not coming after me, are they? No. Hmm. I'll go this way. I haven't been this way before. Come on. Sweet. I love those jump pads. Ah. What? <laughs> I, uh... Okay, interesting. Oh, what? Oh my god, are you joking? Holy cow. Okay, that looks intense. So, mm -hmm. Woo. nice, smooth. 
I think one of the coolest things about this game is how they very obviously put a lot of work into making it replayable a lot. There's lots of, of paths through each level. And this is definitely something you can spend some time learning, mastering. Oh man! Ah, oh, it's so close! Ah, dang. That R button resets you so quickly, too. It's really good. Drat. This is harder. This path is harder than the other path. The Mario Womps. Ah, so close. Gotta be a little quicker on the move back over. So I'll be over here. Damn. Fell off the ledge. Oh no! <laughs> I'm getting a little bit farther each time. Made it. That was tough. Adrian. Dexterity, intuition, mastery, secrets. I like those, uh, I like those little tutorial boxes. Oh, check it out. There's a thing up there. No. Intuition, mastery, secrets. Can I get back over there, I wonder? Looks like maybe. Oh, well, I can just reset. Intuition, dexterity, mastery, secrets. Drat. Okay, so I'm gonna just come down here and then see what I can see. Oh my goodness. These guys, they really are pretty devious. Something coming after me? Holy crap, what the? <laughs> okay, that was a surprise. I haven't checked out Legend of Grimrock 2 yet. Oh no! Oh, that was pure bad luck. How can I get over there? I want to know how to activate that stuff. That stuff looks super cool. I'd love to turn on an entire section of levels. Like that. <laughs> okay, that one, and then that one. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, how could I get up there? Uh, I guess I've got to come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can do that. Now what what their secrets up on top of all this stuff? Hey, check that out. Awesome. No. Who's shooting at me? A new track has been unlocked. That's good. Okay, so... So there's not really anything else over here for me. Yeah, I came over there. Hmm, interesting. Can I get that way? I guess I have to. Yeah, cool. I like how those bullets sound like roars. Sounds really threatening. 
Oh, this is where I came from. And that, what's that over there? That punches me up really high. Maybe I get, to get over there. Hmm. Your gun turns on and off all of the uh, elements of the level. So like this this spinning thing here, I can shoot the target to turn on, turn off that spinning thingy, which is good because it's creating wind that will slow me down. Oh no! <laughs> I'm dead. Mm mm mm. That's tough. Dang. This segment looks pretty rough. Mm. Okay, but at least these blocks are all about even length from each other. That's good. Okay, now what? Oh my goodness. Let's go. Brrr. Oh my god. Dang. So close. I like that sound too. Ah, no. Oh, I'm getting too cocky. Point. Wow. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh. Look up, connect, levels, transition. What? How on earth could I possibly survive that? Hey, check that out. Let's go over there. A new log. Unknown. Hmm. The story is some somewhere somehow like you have lost your memory and you've been plunged into this cyclone where there's this tower going up above you. Interesting.
Okay, so can I get back up there? That's the real question. Looks like I've got to fight my way past another one of these things. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Cool. Oh no. I bumped something. And then just under. Yes. And now I've got to figure out how on earth to... Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, man. I think the environment looks really nice, though. They did a great job with that skybox. And you can see quite far. It gives the impression of real depth. It's really nice. Whoever worked on their art for them did a good job. Okay. Let's go like this. Yeah! I am the master! I'll climb this thing, sure. Uh, I can't. Interesting. Hmm. What? Huh, funny. Uh... Aha. Uh -huh. That won't let me get that. I don't think I can get that yet. Ah, oh, that's a shame. You mean I have to come back? Huh. I don't know what that is. Hey! Three of four logs, one of four tracks, zero of two sparks. Um, there's a lot going on in the backgrounds of the environments, but uh, in general, where you can go is fairly, it's fairly clear. Um, if I were to make one critique, I'd say, like, sometimes there's lines in the foreground and lines in the background, blue lines in the foreground and background, and it makes it a little bit harder to understand what's where. Impossible. Need power. Good. Cool. So, is the power down below? Oh, I'm dead. Hey, Kiesu! Interesting. Woohoo! Dang! So close. Cool, and now I'm gonna have to turn off those guys. <laughs> hey, check it out. Dash power. Awesome. Is there any kind of multiplayer in this? There's leaderboards. But uh, use with E. Oh, shit. <laughs> cool. Nice. Um, the game is really, really high FPS. I mean, like, I'm not getting any... I'm getting a little bit of stuttering. Like, it's probably, like, 40 FPS. Um, but it's only because I'm streaming. I was playing it earlier, and I was actually really, really rock solid. I wonder if there's a way to enable an FPS counter. Game, field of view...
Dash. I'm gonna rebind that right away. Oh no, I can't. I can rebind it to control, but not to shift. Oh, that's a shame. Well, okay. No, I know Rage, but I don't have quality options, so it's it's really entirely possible that it looks less smooth to you than it looks to me. Where am I supposed to go? Um, when I'm not streaming it, it's an easy 60 plus. Aha! Watch gauge dash limited restriction. Oh, the gauge is on my gun. Oh, that's super sick. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh no! Oh hey, a secret! Logo 9. T-Logo 9. Oh no! You can't dash until... until it fills back up to yellow again. Interesting. But a single dash doesn't have to take up the entire gauge. Yeah, cool. Mmm, drat. Um, quality options often kicks in at about this amount for me. But not always. If, especially if there's something else going on. So has Worlds started? Is that is that what's going on this evening? That might very easily be bait, taking up a little more bandwidth on Twitch, and they might want people to reach higher viewer counts before enabling quality options for them. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I think this is really sick, you guys. It feels really clever when you see something and then you're actually able to pull it off. Danger, ritual, trials, obstacles. And then you're able to pull it off really quickly. Oh god! No! <laughs> what? Oh, it's in 4 hours and 20 minutes, okay. Oh yeah! Oh no. Ah, threat. I'm close. It it's a really quick restart, so it doesn't it doesn't feel frustrating. Because you can just restart by tapping the R key and you go back immediately. Wow, look at that. God, whoever they got to do their sky stuff did a great job. Oh no, again? <laughs> no, are you joking? Oh, it knocked me straight into a burning ceiling. Okay, what the hell? Oops, tapped R when I meant to tap E. Mm. 
Ah, no! I got destroyed. So the guy who built, who was the game designer and level designer for this, is a level designer on Eternal Crusade. And that just shoots me straight. Oh, of course, I have to turn it off. Because there's nothing up there. Rat. Rat. Okay, but now I know what to do. <laughs> oh, no. So close. So close. Ah, Zorblick. Ah! Urgh. This is tough. I wonder if you get some kind of slow time power later. Because that would be super sick. Ah, no! So close! Hey, Fraz Crusade, I'm glad to hear that for you. Um, I might have to start, like, turning down my bit rate. People often seem to have trouble with my... Oh, I can't believe I made that. People often seem to have trouble with my uh, stream quality until quality option kicks in. Uh, there's a bunch of people who uh, aren't able to see it at good, good resolutions. That looks sick. What genre is this? It's a puzzle platformer. New boost unlocked. Rocket jump plus one. What's rocket jump? Can I see that anywhere? Logs. Dash. How often did I restart a try on accident? So far, once. I did restart a try on accident once. It feels like I can go way more places now. Ah, no. The dash only sends you forwards. Of course, it doesn't send you in the direction you're looking. Ah. No, that's backwards. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh no. I have to do it again. What kind of game were you expecting, NC Games? Mmm, now I reset that by accident, so that's twice. Ha! I didn't even turn that one off that time, I just went straight over it. Somehow. Oh, hey! That's what I need to do! Yes, made it. Just barely. Hmm. Puzzles, man. Puzzles. What? No, no, oh my god! Oh no. Okay.
So I've got to click that while I'm going. There we go. Oh! No moving, pla no moving platforms. What? Where on earth am I? What? No! Okay, so that was clearly a different place from this place. Hmm. Yes, there's a Steam link in the title. That's the bit.ly link. Whoa! Come on! So that's a little bit funky right there. So I can move that back and that back. And that. Ha <laughs> ha. No. Okay. What's up there? Nice. Hey, let's make sure I grab that checkpoint. What's it say? Rhythm, time, choose, path, and destiny. Hey, how about this path? That looks like a lot of destiny there. Oh, no! So close. Uh, I did not finish The Witcher yet, Kiesu. This is not my Designer Plays series, right? I'm just... Uh, I'm streaming this because it's a lot of fun. It, I think it's it can be a lot of fun to watch. And uh, it's a friend of mine who made it, so... Rat. Ah, so close. This game just came out yesterday, incidentally. It released yesterday at 1 p.m. We all went out to lunch with Adrian to congratulate him on his release. <laughs> Turned that shit off. Uh, what? Hey, Tessacha. Tessachka. All right, what? Ah, okay, I unlocked a new checkpoint. That's cool. Yeah, there's a link to buy the game in, in uh, the title of the stream, and it's only 10 bucks, or 11, if you're in Canada. Where am I supposed to go up there? This game is really cool. You have to really make split-second decisions. Ah. Man, I keep thinking I'm at the... Not this one, but the one back once. Ah, damn. Not this checkpoint, but the checkpoint back one. Wow. Okay, yep. And then, yeah, there we go. That's what we need. Oh, guys, this looks ridiculous. This is way more exciting to watch than The Witcher. Thanks, Casey. Ah. Hey, great. Neat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my god. Uh, um, I had... Today when I was streaming The Witcher, I had the worst time playing The Witcher that I had. Because uh, I got to that part in Act 2 where you, um, 
you have to play through the eternal battle and it takes away all of your abilities and it forces you to play as a ghost who is complete shit at everything and I, I was specking into um, spells pretty heavily in order to in preparation for specking into swordsmanship and um, as a result I was just worthless in that entire segment and I ranted about it a little bit Oh my god, Bloodborne. Yeah, I can't wait to... Cannot wait for Bloodborne. Dear Adrian, your game is too hard. Friendship over. Ah, I went right into it. But it's a good kind of hard. Like, it doesn't feel unfair. Am I going to get this Skybox guy to work on the Eternal Crusade? I think this Skybox guy lives in France. So I don't think we're going to be able to get him. Unfortunately. Oh no. Ah, I'm tapping the R key because I... Somehow my brain still thinks of it as reload. So let's change that. I want to change quick respawn to T so that I have I have further to go to hit it. Okay, there we go. Um you are seeing the whole game screen, definitely. The reason that it's cropped right here is because uh, my monitor is at not a widescreen monitor, so I'm, I've got the ratio that you're seeing right now is not a widescreen ratio for the game. Let's do that. That dash is super cool. The sound for it is really cool too. Oh boy. Faster, more. I have a CRT. No, I don't have a CRT. It's it's a flat screen monitor. It's just not a widescreen monitor. Ah, so close. Yeah, I'm really glad to hear that everything went so well for Total Biscuit. Okay. Oh. Your character's height feels a little bit hard to grasp in this. Like, I'm not entirely sure how tall I am, so sometimes when I'm going through these barriers, it feels like I should have made it. But overall, it all feels really quite decent. I'm sure it's just a matter of my getting used to the size. Mm. I'm out. Oh my god. No. No. I haven't seen the end of the world. I need to. Oh my god! Ha! At last! Damn. Oh, the end of the world, the... Secrets, observe, feel, discover. Uh, the end of the world, the Flash... Flash cartoon. I have seen that. I haven't seen the end of the world with Simon Pegg. 
listen to those sounds. I can't wait until I get to activate a tower like that. Like, I, I just know that I can turn those segments on somehow. Yikes. No! And yeah, now I have to hit the T instead of the... No! Hmm, <laughs> so much focus. No. Yes. 1600 by 1200 for the game. It's like watching mini golf with Steven as the ball. Sure. I find this really fun. I get really in the zone. Oh, nice. No. Mm. Ah, curses. tough. Oh my god! What the hell just happened? Where am I? Uh, I'm... I'm... stuck. Boop. Hmm, this is gonna be tough. terrifying. Hmm. There we go. Okay. That was not entirely intentional, but it worked. Oh, good. Now I get to go over to this terrifying thing. Dive, unveil, complete cycle. Can I get up high enough to get that? Yeah, that's really tight. Hmm. No, I can't. Oh no, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, no! <laughs> oh man, what do I think I'll finish after The Witcher 2? Not sure. Maybe I'll do a little Shadow of Mordor stream after The Witcher 2, just to show you where I am and some of my progress, and talk about it from a design perspective. I think really highly of The Witcher 2. Of, wait, no, of Shadow of Mordor. The Witcher 2 I have mixed feelings about. Oh no! This world sure was not designed with wheelchair accessibility in mind, and no, it was not. Rat. 
Okay. Now I've figured out how to actually do that intentionally. That's good. Dive. Unveil. Complete. No! Luke. Oh yeah, no, they broke. They broke Tolkien's lore. Completely. It's not a it's not a good uh, Lord of the Rings game, but it is a really good game, and also interestingly problematic. Good. Ha <laughs> ha my goodness. No, my god. Ah, oh, I haven't hit a new checkpoint yet. Close, close, close. There's another ability that I haven't earned yet, either. It's something like gravity something or other? I don't know. I don't know what it does. Mm, I need to be more accurate. No, but it's, it's also not a very good um, Middle Earth game, because it really, really doesn't represent the philosophies present in the Middle Earth. Like, the world of men, like, basically everybody on the side of good in The Lord of the Rings would find Talion's behavior in Shadow of Mordor utterly reprehensible. Like, Gandalf, um, Ke uh, what's his name in Rivendell? Elrond, um, the woman, Kate Blanchett. All of them would find his behavior reprehensible. Because his actions are the actions that the enemy uses. And like Celebrimbor even, even often says, you know, we use the enemy's. We use the enemy's uh, actions against him. Except that. That's not. Uh, that's not the way the good guys behave in Lord of the Rings. Middle Earth. Ugh. Okay, you need to go falling down there. That's right. Give me a little more time. Oh, it flipped. It killed me. Looks like a Tron universe, Sonic the Hedgehog. That's pretty great. Let's just, like, skip past all of that stuff. No! No! Dang. Ah, so close. Gotta be quick. No! Yes. Whoa! Oh no! Dang, I ran out. I ran out of dash. Oh no. Someone said this game is pretty repetitive, and that's because I'm failing over and over. I don't know if you noticed that. Ah, I was really close. Drat. 
Um, JP's announced the next swan song will go live this Wednesday. So have have hope. No. You don't only have to kill stuff with executions in Shadow of Mordor. You can kill stuff without using an execution. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, that uh, Shadow of Mordor seems really repetitive. Could be. I can see somebody thinking that. Dang, I need more dash. I'm not using it well. Oh no! The thing about this game is that, like, it feels really fair when you fail. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel super hard or unfair. It just feels like I just need to get better. And I am. Every time I run through this section, I'm getting better. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really close. There we go. Oh, no, where am I? No! <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going or over here. Hey, how about here? That looks good. Cool. Yes, the barriers that you have to thread the middle in order to go over under, they're pretty tough. Pretty tough to judge. Do not want... Hmm, so... Is there another one of those over there? Or is that the one that I was... at before? Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to go... Maybe instead of going away from the thing, I should go with the thing. Brett! Oh, that thing's gonna pull me to the side. No! Mm. I'm close. That's tough. Gotta hit that thing. Jump over here. Get on that. Okay. Now I can turn that off. Jump. Turn that off. Nope. Ah, so close. No. Yeah. 
Yeah. Everything reveal live pattern evolve. There's a thing in there. I gotta get in there. Yeah. The hive. Track unlocked. Now what? Oh, there are bad guys. Hello, bad guys. What the what? Holy. Oh, my God. No. Okay. Yeah. Suck it, weird R2-D2s. So, Zorblek is asking, uh, do I think, do I, do I even think of doing more gameplay streams with people or just sticking to the designer plays and roleplay streams? What do you mean with people? Um, I have something in my eye. Um, I'll probably do gameplay streams like this on occasion. I like hanging out and streaming, but, um, like, I have so much going on right now between R&D and the West Marches and Swan Song and... Uh, making a game in my spare time and working on Eternal Crusade and uh, being married and um, playing role-playing games in real life. I have so much I'm not sure I have. I don't, I don't think I have time for another steady stream. Hang on. I'm still not quite fixed here. There we go. Oh, no. Dang, 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 dang. Dang. Double, triple, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, 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 dang. What you doing over here? Petting, petting, petting the rats? I don't think there's one in here. Yeah. You can get the other ones. You can. I can, huh? Let's go. Ha ha ha, I am a master. That felt awesome. Oh my god. Gollum doesn't make a lot of sense to me yet, but I, I, I have not done the story like at all in Shadow of Mordor because I've been so obsessed with setting my own objectives and then completing them. Fluffy tail. Hey, buddy. Say hi. Hi, Jesper. Is she down underneath? Floof. He wants attention so bad. He wants it so bad. But I can't give it to you, Jesper. I'm streaming Deadcore, and it's awesome. So if you joined late, <clears throat> I don't think too many of you did, but Dead Core is a game that one of my team members made with a team of five people, five bits games. Um, he's been working on it for the last year and a half, two years, something like that. It's a puzzle platformer shooter game. If you are interested in it, it's $10. You can buy it from Steam. The link is in the, uh, the stream title up above us. Oh... Whoa, holy crap! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god.
No. <laughs> oh my god. Primark the Mage, yes. I did say I'm making a game in my spare time. Jeez, those sounds. God. They did a great job with the sound design. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, it's just a little indie game. Five dudes making something cool. Feel, follow, rhythm, function, everything. Oh my god. Super cool. No! Ah! The clock on the gun measures my time spent in the game so far because the game has built in speedrun mode. So, um, the, the gun times you. Threat. I always have to be just a little bit higher than I expect through those things. Hmm, level time, 42 minutes. Wow. So I've got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somehow I unlocked a second level of Blast, but I don't even have Blast yet, so that's pretty funny. So Switch Gun, Dash is the only other one that I'm using. G Mod. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, let's go to the main menu. Concept of time is a cruel mistress, and let's take a look. Look at that, look at that. Fidel cash flow. 210. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you hear my wife just laughing? She thought Fidel Cash Flow was a really funny name. And then there's Boo Box Boo Boo Bo. D Seda. Dev team, dev team. This is Adrian. Add nothing down here. 256. Adrian, shameful. Come on. You're gonna let your dev team member beat you by 30 seconds? Hello, Artemis all. The fall, the tower, the void. Wow, look at this. Friends? Hey, check it out! Oh, look at that. I beat out Brent. But uh, Nicholas Brunoni is much faster. So, I'm interested. Like, okay, I can't. I can't grab these. Nicholas is a special trial for a backer. Interesting. Okay, well, let's try this alpha thing. Looks like it only takes, like,. 12 minutes. Let's see it. Oh, I should have checked out my tracks. 
I don't think there is a level editor for this game. Oh no! Oops, I think I just closed that. Let's go this way. So some people have definitely beaten this by this point in time already. Oh my god. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This feels really pumped. Ah. Oh. oh my god. This is rough. Holy crap! I am not hitting any timers on this one, that's for damn sure. Crumbum. He is calling you a Crumbum! Ten points if you can guess what that's from. Ah, oh, this is gonna kill me. Look at that, I'm already at two minutes. Shameful. <laughs> this is really tough. No. Damn. Ah, oh, this is killing me. I can't believe someone beat this in like 40 seconds. That's ridiculous. They must be cheating. Ah, ah, ah. No, oh my god, no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Guys, this is really intense. I guess I am not a natural-born speedrunner. That is what we are discovering here today. It's from the Venture Brothers. I hear Dean from the other side. He is calling you a crumbum. <laughs> turn that off. Turn that off. Let's go. Turn... No, oh my god. Turn those two off. Turn that one on. They're playing drum and bass, Nita. The, um... The game. Yeah. Okay. No, this was not designed for the first playthrough. You have to memorize the track. That's okay. I'll place. Yeah. Yes! One, two. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Ah! Nita! What was that? Oh, dude, what? No!
Yeah, you have to manage that boost. Okay. This is tough. Oh, no. Uh, not right now. Ah! And up, and then one, two... Oh, God! Ah! This is hard, you guys! One, two, forwards. Oh, no! I overshot! Oh, God, that's killing me! Edge of my seat, guys. Edge of my seat. Oh no! Zapped to death. Holy shit! No, oh my god! No, oh my god! Oh, goodness gracious. So I want to hit that one when I'm at the top, so that I hit that one when I'm at the bottom. Dang. Yep. Turn that off. Turn that on. Go. Rat. I got a remote to look up. Seven twenty, so that that can't be possible. I feel like that has to be cheating. Let's find me. Seven twenty there I am, number thirty eight. Booyah. Suck it, you five guys. Huh. Well let's try that again. Yeah, um, and like, using your boost right, and not doing that. Ah. But 15 seconds, man? I just, I just don't know. Unless there's some crazy shortcut from the very beginning to like, the very end. It's, I mean, we're already way past those first five guys, right? I would love to see a video of someone doing it that fast. That would be wild. Oh no! Oh my goodness, I am... Like, every muscle in my body is tense right now. So let's go to the left, see if that's any faster. Ha, ah, you guys suck. Oh no, my god, what the... Oh god, those things shut down. Ah. Oh. So tense.
Guys, this is tough. You know what else I don't have? I don't have the other abilities. So, like, I might be missing things that I don't even know how to use. Yeah, there's just no way without going up. What the? I fell off. If you get shot by one of those things, you're knocked back and you're already off. Yeah, there we go. Interesting, so that just takes you back here. There's only one way. Oh, yikes. Damn. Ah. Curses. Okay, five minutes, so that was significantly improved. Like, now, see, I do actually believe that you can do it in 56 seconds, so if you can, if one of the devs can do it in 56 seconds, then it's not that strange that someone else could do it in 30. Find me. Where am I now? What? Five twenty-three. There I am, number thirty-three. Ha! Sith Master, yes, I am going to put this on YouTube. Um, but I actually think I'm going to call it quits for the evening. Um, Ken A seventy-two, you can get the basic rules for fifth edition for free from uh, Wizards of the Coast's website. You should. Uh, oh, maybe you're, if you're talking about Shadowrun, then never mind. But if you're talking about Dungeons & Dragons, you can get the basic rules for free from Wizards of the Coast website. Just Google D&D uh, &D basic rules. Yeah, so thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this game and that I hope, I hope that you will consider picking it up. It would mean a lot to my friends. Uh, you can find the purchase link up above. It's the, just the bit.ly link. It's also called Deadcore. And you can just search for it on Steam. It's $10. So thanks for hanging out here this evening. And have a wonderful night, guys.